turned but then held up badly the man who was in second place. But Duncan Ricketts just kept his foot down, got on the grass at Ford Water, didn't lift off, and squeezed past the big old Mercedes. So Thomas Bashir now has got to get a little bit of a move on. He's in Lavent Corner, and the Riley is certainly closer to him now. The gap has come down to 1.6 seconds when they started their 10th lap. It's a 12-lap race. They're on their 10th lap now. And Duncan Ricketts is really putting the pressure on. Thomas Bashir glances in his mirrors as they come down the Lavent Strait, coming now down towards Woodcote Corner. And Bashir being caught hand over fist by the little Riley. But has Duncan Ricketts left his big effort too late? Duncan Ricketts has just set the fastest lap of the race. 1 minute 38.8 now. And he's closing up very rapidly indeed. Duncan Ricketts really putting the pressure on Thomas Bashir. A little bit of smoke from the Dixon Riley as it comes out of the chicane. But this is now the 10th lap. It's the 11th lap, I should say. This is the penultimate lap. And Duncan Ricketts has really got the hammer down. Winding in Thomas Bashir all the time. Bashir has some back markers to go through. Coming out of Magic, going on now down towards Ford Water. And Duncan Ricketts gets a fairly clear run through. And now he's really tucked in behind the Alfa Romeo. Thomas Bashir has got a lot to worry about now. Bashir trying to fend off Duncan Ricketts, who's come from a long, long way back. Ricketts is now a length behind as they go into St. Mary's. The right-hander, there's a back marker in the way. Then the left-hander that follows it. There is a slower... Uh, Alfa Romeo ahead of them and Duncan Ricketts is trying to go one side Ricketts is actually delayed briefly by the Alfa, now they both go past now they're in Lavent Corner and Ricketts is really flying about a length or two lengths between them as they come out of Lavent Corner and now as they get on to the straight Ricketts should have less steam than the big three-litre Alpha, but it's so light, this Riley. As I said before, they didn't paint it. Freddie Dixon refused to paint it because he said paint was heavy. He wanted to do everything he could. That's the little Austin 7 going through there, the uh, rubber duck Austin 7, which is now about to be lapped by the leaders. The rubber duck keeps out of the way as they go into the chicane, keeps out of the way of both of them. Well done, Grant Cowie, keeping out of the way. And now this is coming up for the last lap. This is the battle for the lead. And they cross the start-finish line to start their final lap now. And the gap is 65 hundredths of a second. Now, what is Duncan Ricketts going to be going to do? It's one thing to get alongside a big sideways moment coming out of Magic Corner there. It's one thing to catch up to your prey. The next thing is to find a way to go past. Great overtaking circuit, Goodwood, particularly in these more narrow early cars. But nevertheless, Duncan Ricketts has got to choose his moment. They're coming up the brow towards St. Mary's for the final time. And I wonder if Duncan Ricketts has left it too late. A slide into the right-hander of St. Mary's. Now they're in the left-hander of St. Mary's. And now they've got Lavent Corner. There's a bit of traffic ahead of them that they may have to cope with as they go into Lavent. Big speed differentials between the fastest cars in this race and the slowest. And Duncan Ricketts, head down in the cockpit, willing his little Freddie Dixon Riley to get closer to the ex Scuderia Ferrari Alpha. And tucked right in, they've got back markers there. They're on the straight now. Will the back markers see both of them? Yes, they're both going past the blue Bugatti, or are they? Suddenly the road is full of cars, and Duncan Ricketts has got to decide which way to go, and he's alongside him. And he's going right in there, absolutely side by side, and Thomas Bashir almost on the grass, side by side into Woodcut. A fantastic move by Duncan Ricketts. The car, the road still full of cars, but Duncan Ricketts has done it. He's got ahead of Thomas Bashir in all of that traffic. A beautiful piece of work by Duncan Ricketts, who wins the Brooklands Trophy by taking the lead at Woodcut Corner on the final lap.